Business. 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 You care only for business. You know I've got to go. I'll be back soon. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. I said good night, Teresita. Who was that man? Who was that man? No man here. I saw him with my own eyes. I've never been so insulted in my whole life. I'll pack up immediately. I'll go home to my mother. Oh, I'm tired. I think I'll go to bed. All right. Never more, darling. Forgive me. I should fly in the face of providence. I must see him. I'll go to his house tomorrow. <laughs> Anna, go back to your room. Oh, all the way. I was all alone, 
And suddenly, a man walked in. His hat so, his sword so. And I knew. What did he say? Nothing. He just took me in his arms and kissed me. <laughs> kissed you? Was that all? All? My eyes closed. My heart stopped. My, my everything stopped. What a kiss. What a kiss. What, a kiss? Certainly. One kiss from Don Juan, properly handled, mind you, by a clever manager, and you are made. By one kiss? From Don Juan? Oh, I've seen it done. A little actress with no more than two lines and a pretty ankle. He noticed her within the year, leading lady, married to a Marquis living with a Duke. Bring him here. Ah, oh, that's very difficult. Oh, not when properly handled by a clever manager. Oh, if there is one man in Seville who knows how to play his cards properly. He will bring me this king of hearts. But you are the king of hearts, Don Juan. What are your symptoms? Well, nowadays, when I sit down to a quiet game with the lady, I'm no longer sure of holding the card. Well, Doctor, what's your age, Don Juan? How did you find the lungs? Splendid. And what's your age, Don Juan? What about the heart? Splendid. And what did you say was your age, Don Juan? How is the general condition, Doctor? After what you have said about your age, you're a miracle of youth, Don Juan. An enviable constitution and perfect health. But I told you the symptoms. There surely must be something wrong with me. Aren't you going to give me any prescription? I shall. A very important prescription. Don't climb more than one balcony a day. Well, I don't. Last night you climbed at least ten. Since I arrived in Seville yesterday afternoon, I moved from this house. One balcony a day. Then slowly reduce that to four balconies a week. Then reduce that again to two balconies a week. And in about 15 years, well, there won't be any more balconies. Then you can come and consult me again. How much do I owe you? Nothing. If it can be made known that you have consulted me. Three ducats if I have to keep it a secret. Look, the streets are full of women. Flowers again, flowers. 89 letters. And at six o'clock yesterday evening, disguised, unknown to anyone, we brought him to town. And in a few hours, all Seville knows he's here. Which of you gave him away? Did I not give you my word? And did I not? Then how in heaven's name did they discover it? Well, what did the doctor say? He said I'd eaten something that disagreed with me. Passing indigestion. Mm, that's good news. But I've bad news for you, Don Juan. The whole town knows you're here. Delore, she followed us. I knew she would. Oh, how I hate that woman. She loves you. Loves me. Buying my debts, putting me in jail. You've only got to go back to her. Well, listen, I like jails. I've always wanted to go to jail. I insist on going to jail. She can keep you there for two years. Oh, my love is going to jail. I'm putting my love to jail. I don't understand you, my sweet. What's the use of it if you put him in jail? Do you remember when you were in love? Mm, I think very hard, my sweet. Well, think very hard. Was he unfaithful? Oh, I don't have to think hard. Every man is unfaithful. And when he was unfaithful, did you want to lock him up? Lock him up? <gasps> Chains on his hands and feet to neck. You are right, my sweet. You're wrong there, Conchita, because if you put chains on his hands and his neck, he wouldn't be able to embrace you. Are you going to see him in jail yet? Twice, every day. I've been appointed the visiting governor. He'll see no other woman but me. How clever you were to buy up all his debts. <laughs> Master, hmm? is it true you're really going to jail? Mm. Why don't you go and see the lady? Because I hate her. During the year I was with her, she nagged me. Watched me like a cat and accused me of being unfaithful. Were you? Yes, but she only guessed. Master, mm. aren't ladies pretty well all alike to you? What have you got against this lady? I adore women. I never was able to resist women. But this is the one woman in the world that I'm determined to resist with my last breath. Why? 
And that's my secret, Pedro. Donna Dolores, how did you discover we were here? Oh, how can I help discovering it when Don Juan has climbed every balcony in Seville? Don Juan has not left the house since we arrived yesterday evening. Oh, I know women whose balconies he's climbed. I swear to you, Don Juan has not left the house. You swear as easily as Don Juan, Leporello. Don Dolores, do you really want to send him to jail? Well, what else can I do when I'm in love with him and he climbs every balcony in Seville? Can't that be forgiven? You know it can. He's only got to come and ask me for the bill. Is it so difficult for him to come and see me? He shall come and see you. Don't you believe it? No. Do you think he dislikes you so much? I think he's afraid he may like me too much. But still, if he comes, the bills will go into the fire. You're very generous, Donna Royce. Thank you. You don't think um, an accident might happen to Don Juan? No, I'll take good care of him. Well, you take very good care of him. Balcony climbing is a dangerous sport. I'll be waiting all night. Followed us again. I must see Don Juan. Well, why do you want to see Don Juan? Well, I, I want to be like him. You dress like him? Yes, I do everything like him. Well, what do you want with him? The last trick, the last turn, the real victory, the mastery of women. I don't know how it's done. And until I do, it's no use for me to go around climbing balconies and kissing women. Climbing balconies? Mm. Where were you last night? Oh, I had a grand time. I climb nearly every balcony in Seville. I see. Don Juan would like to see you. Would he? Very much. Wait here, will you? Certainly. Oh. Is it true he had 857 affairs in three years? To be exact, 903. What have you got there? Nothing. How many times have I told you not to eat anything starchy? I think it's disgusting. I can't eat what I want. Isn't your figure your only asset? There must be a lot of women that like fat men. Yes, rich fat men. I'll sack the cook. Who's master here? Don Juan or you? I am. I look after his figure, his finances, his fame and his future. Get out. No. No, no, Senora. You can't come in. Oh, yes. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, yes. you can't come in. Ricardo. Pedro. Coming. Throw the bell. Hey, oh, forgive me, sir. It shall not occur again. I have a large family. Hmm. Well, I have a soft heart. In the future, no starch. Remember, you're cooked to Don Juan. Very well, sir. Who are you? What are you doing? Let me look. Thank you. I won't disturb you anymore. Forgive me, Don Juan. Oh, no, stop! What did you come here for? All the women in Spain are dreaming about you. I had to see you. Well, now you have seen me. You're not disappointed. You're even more wonderful than I imagined. Are you married? Happily? Who is happily married nowadays? Oh, he neglects you. 
Mm-hmm. To neglect such a glorious creature. Oh, you're joking. No, no, I only wanted to see you. Ecstasy. Who could resist you, Don Juan? I found out how we were discovered. Dolores. No, not at all. There's a young man downstairs who's taken your place. Oh, nobody can take my place. Well, last night he gave such a good invitation of you that everyone is satisfied that you are in Seville. What did he do? Climbed balconies, kissed women, used wives, did everything you can do, and was a great success. But now you'd better go. Tonight, then? Tonight? Did they think it was me? They did. Well, there's only going to be one Don Juan in this world. to my wife. When? Last night. Last night? Last night. I am Don Juan. Come on. What? Yes. Oh. I beg your pardon. Is your wife charming? She is lovely. Lovely? Thanks very much. Come on. <laughs> lovely? When did you tell her that she was lovely? When did you send her a basket of flowers? When did you whisper words that sent shivers up and down her spine? Not for years, because you were married. You just owned her, like a monkey, a fiddle, so that a miserable bungler could come and take her away from you. Why should a lovely wife be faithful to you? Clown, yokel, boob, husband. How long have you been married? Six years. Six years. When did you tell her that she was lovely? Every day. When did you send her a basket of flowers? Every day. Are you romantic? Every day. Oh, kick him out. He's a boy. Your impersonator must have been very busy last night. I wonder why he ran away. I'll find him and I'll kill him. Pepita, hmm? we are sold out. And everybody hopes that Don Juan will come to visit you. And over there? At the Black Cat? Mm -hmm. Empty! Come along, darling, honey. <laughs> See Pepita. Pepita? That old battle horse? Old? 26 at least. I'm 19 and I can dance. She can't. No, but Don Juan kissed her yesterday afternoon. Don Juan. Even his kiss can't make her a good dancer. No, perhaps not. But what publicity? Well, if Spain doesn't know anymore what good dancing is, then. then. then what? Then. Then it's no wonder that our fleet was beaten by the English. Oh, you can't argue with the public. They expect Don Juan at the Golden Pheasant. Don Juan? The man with the worst taste in Spain. The worst? The worst. Well, if you want my opinion, you'll get ready for your turn. And if you want my opinion, I refuse to dance to an empty house. And if you want my opinion, you'll get the sack if you don't. <gasps> Here, 
Here I am, darling. How wonderful of you, Don Juan. Yes. Oh, are you hurt? No. No, it's nothing at all, really. Be here. The place is empty. Well, let's sit down. I'm tired out. Good evening, gentlemen. Bring a bottle of Harry. <laughs> Antonita! Antonita! Don Juan is here! Don Juan? Don Juan? No! Yes. It isn't true! It... Oh, I knew he'd come! I knew he wouldn't go to sleep with Peter! <laughs> oh. oh! Go tell the orchestra to get ready! Oh, honey! Honey! Oh, let's go! No. It's easy enough for you to run about all night. You'll have two solid years rest in a nice, quiet jail. Jail? Didn't you settle that? Only you can do that. How? By going to see Doña Dolores. She's waiting for you. No. <laughs> Two years, a young masquerader will have a marvelous time. All right, I'll go see. Please make me dance well. All right, ready? Let's go. waiting for you. Can't you sit still a second? She's indeed a lovely dancer, sir. We'd we'll be highly honored if you would visit her in her dressing room for a minute. No, no, you can't go. There isn't time. You're late already. Just for a second. Oh, you're hopeless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. I'll be back in a minute. A minute. Oh, a divine hair. And those two lovely stars. Just a little frightened. Gazing at. You baffle me. Once again, I'm just a frightened child. Oh, I could kill you for being so attractive. What a fool I was. What a fool. Why not? I? I thought I could resist you. Can you? No woman could. 
Oh, why did you kiss that girl? What girl? Pepita, at the Golden Pheasant, yesterday evening. Oh, yesterday evening. I didn't kiss her. Can you swear that? In this case, with the easiest conscience. Jordan! Jordan! Yeah? He never kissed Pepita. He never kissed her. What? The liars are going to leave me money. So he wouldn't come. Ah, an accident. I'm afraid so. He's, uh, he's sprained. He, he has to stay in bed. Donna Dolores, do you want to make him hate you? Well, I'd rather he hated me than forgot me. If he hates me, at least he has to think about me. You want to punish him? Don't you love him? Yes, I do. But I gave him the choice. Love or the law. Aren't you afraid you may lose him entirely? Yes, I might. But I don't think so. If a man flees so desperately from a woman, he must be desperately afraid of her. I'll compel him to see me. And if he sees you and remains the same? Then I'll give him up. And he can have his bills and his freedom and all the women in the world. But he'll never see me again. But that remains to be seen. Oh, that kiss of yours this morning was the greatest event in my drab life. But I know that for you, I'm just one woman in a thousand. Just one more victim. You're the only woman in the world for me. You really mean it? Yes. Oh, Don Juan. Oh, Don Juan. Good night, little one. Oh, wait. Wait and say that I'm not just one of a thousand women for you. Oh, no, no, no. Do I really mean something to you? Certainly. Am I the one whose kiss you've been seeking on a thousand women's lips? Why, of course. I am the one. The only one. Of course. Oh, Don Juan, thank you. I've never really lived until this moment. Oh, that's splendid now. Good night, little one. Four o'clock. And at eight o'clock, jail, or we go to France as soon as he arrives. Will he consent? No, he'll never consent, but he'll go all the same. Oh. Three miles to walk. And the question I ask myself is, are women worth it? Hi there. You may not know it, but you've been sent from heaven. You take me to my house, and this is yours. Look, my cat is full of cabbages, Senor. Good. This is the first time I ever liked them. Say, she told me that you'd gone to the carnival. Don Juan, I know you'll kill me. But I am an honorable man. For my wife's honor, I must die. Or, or what will people say? Please don't hurt him too much. No. Don Juan, are you ready? Oh, very well, if you insist. <laughs> Wake up, sir, you're home. Are you married? Yes, sir. Oh, well, I suppose it has its disadvantages, but it saves a lot of walking. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. The gentleman has to dress even in jail. And two years is a long time. I 
I forgot it. Did you see Dolores? Yes. Is she angry? Yes. Well, you are an idiot. You don't know how to talk to an angry woman. You are a genius, but you prefer to prove it to another woman. Now, listen. Everything's arranged. The coach at the door. Drive as fast as you can to the frontier, and I'll join you in Paris. Rested till the morning. Well, what do you want in the middle of the night? We had to disturb you, sir. I'm sorry to say your master's been killed. Our master? Don Juan. Isn't this his house? Uh, yes, this is Don Juan's house. My name is Leporello. I'm a steward. Tell me, what has happened to Don Juan? Don Alfredo killed him. Don Alfredo? How did Don Alfredo recognize Don Juan? We found this in his pocket. It is. Oh, this is too, too terrible for words. There can be no doubt about it. Poor, poor Don Juan. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll look after his body. Good night. Good night. What's the idea? They really think you are dead. I'll tell them. Sh shut up. You have to deny it. Yes. In a month or two or six. Whenever I want to, whenever I have money enough to pay my debts. <laughs> yeah, Providence is against a jealous woman. Providence favors a man fighting for his freedom. How do you want to use your freedom? I want to rest. I want to lead a simple life for simple people. Not to be a celebrity for a while. To be unknown, no women, and alone. To eat what I like to do what I like. After all, there comes a time in a man's life when he needs rest. And I'm going to have it. Oh, I'm so happy. And so sleepy. Good night, Leporello. And don't wake me until it's time for my funeral. these women in mourning. For you. <laughs> Nonsense. I've never seen one of them before in my life. Huh. We must have come to the wrong funeral. Oh, no. Don Juan? Never. Not once. Why are you in mourning? Because I've never met him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
It's amazing. I had no idea my own funeral could be so delightful. And certainly brought your career to a happy end. And why end? Why not? Leave off while they still think of you as you wear. Where? Ten years ago. All these wrinkles, these lines, these gray hairs. Hey, you'd spoil any party, even a few. Water, lady? <laughs> nice fresh water? Water? Madame, did you ever see my poor friend Don Juan? No, sir. But I had hoped to see him at my cousin's next month. And you, Senora, did you know him? You have no reason to be here then. I have a very good reason, sir. I've often dreamed of him. Simply amazing. I never knew I was such a great fellow. <laughs> Fat fellow over there. Cardona, the playwright. <laughs> no, 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 my friend, it is a great sight. Women and women and women. The eternal hunger of women for love. Every woman must have a sense of gratitude for the man who brought love to so many of her sisters. What would you say then was the cause of Don Juan's great success? First, dull husbands. <laughs> Second, a careful avoidance of all intelligent women. <laughs> I must write a play about him one of these days. Do you want me to collect all the details of his romantic life? Romantic? What is there romantic in spending his life telling women they are everything they are not? Only fools have the time to be great lovers. Well, at all events, I hope you have one good thing to say in favor of women. One. In most cases, it is the man who has to walk home. <laughs> Look, Antonita, the dancer. Oh, Antonetta. Courage, be brave, little one. This has been the greatest day of my life, but there'll be one even greater. When? When I come back. If women grieve so at my funeral, can you imagine what's going to happen when I return? <laughs> Goodbye, Leporello. <laughs> Don Juan told me so himself. It was only publicity. He did not. Don't you? Oh. He... And who are you to give orders here? Who am I? Don Juan said I was the girl whose kiss he'd been seeking on a thousand women's lips. I was the only one. He'd never loved anybody else in his life but oh. me. He loved you so much that he went straight from you to another woman. Oh, that was a previous engagement. So that's why they killed him. That's why they killed him, because he loved me. He said, good night, Antonita. I'll tell her if I had to die for it. He loved me. And lo, don't women like you. Yeah. He's gone in a blaze of glory, rejoicing in his liberty. All right. I don't understand you, Donny Dolores. What's your scheme? I have no scheme. What's your idea? I have no idea. Except 
A woman must realize there are times when she's got to give a man all the rope he wants. You might lose him for good. Or win him for good. No other woman would have let him go. No other woman understands him. How should they after just having a week or a day out of his life? I had over a year. What can you know about him that thousands of other women don't? Tell me. Has Don Juan been very tired lately? How did you know? <laughs> no great lover has any secrets from a woman after a year. Donia Dolores, you're bound to win. I might. But now I must wait. He'll soon be tired of being tired. <laughs> Captain Mariano's breakfast ready? Here it is. Beef for the blood, fish for the brain, and a dash of garlic for the imagination. <laughs> Captain Mariano! Coming! Breakfast is ready! Oh! Oh, I have marvelous sleep. What a glorious day! You look wonderful. Thank you. You do too. You look wonderful. Oh, Senor. Oh, oh. Now, there is a gentleman. You look all. Why so gloomy? Who wouldn't look gloomy after six months in this hole? What a place for Don Juan. Quiet, you fool. All right. For Captain Mariano. Captain Mariano, retired from active service. Private life of Don Juan, ladies. Two centavos. The private life of Don Juan. The greatest lover who ever lived. What's that? All the secrets of his love life, the number of his love affairs, thank you, senora. The story of his lamentable death, killed by an outraged husband. They're selling a new book. The private life of Don Juan. Come fetch one for me. Yes, Master. Come. Is there a Captain uh, Mariano living here? Yes, sir. Certainly, sir. Where can I find him? Captain Mariano is having his breakfast, sir. Uh... Breakfast? But it's afternoon. Captain Mariano is not what you call an early riser, sir. I always give him his lunch and his breakfast in one, and I must say it's a pleasure to see the way he appreciates his food. Mark is quite right that he should, for there's nothing he asks for that we don't give him. I always say that if you give a customer what they like, they'll come back again. So if you're the friend that he's expecting, and you just tell me your favorite dish... My favorite dish is a middle-aged woman's tongue, cut out by the roots, chopped very small, and eaten raw. Did you bring the money? Did you see this? See? In Seville, they sold it in 20,000 copies. Have you read it? I have. It's all lies. They give all the details of everything that never happened. You know these authors are private lives. No life is private to them. He thinks you're a hero and makes you a cad. You know the public. If he didn't think me a hero, he wouldn't write it. And if he didn't make me a cad, he couldn't sell it. How long do you want to stay? Mm, until I feel rested. When do you think you will feel rested? <laughs> I don't know. I've got to make up for 20 years of hard service. <laughs> Master, the mistress says that if you won't come, she will come. Tell her I'll come right away. 
Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sentenced to marriage for the term of his natural life. <laughs> yeah. uh, Alonzo, you're not married. No, but I hope to be. Didn't you just see that poor chap? Oh, my girl's different. All girls are different. All wives are alike. You lose your freedom. My girl's worth it. Marriage is like a beleaguered city. Those that are out want to get in. Those that are in want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> the private life of Don Juan. Hey, give me one. Give me one. Two centavos. How much? Two centavos. Oh, too much. Mm. You can have it for nothing. Oh, you are a one for bargains, aren't you? Here. Here's your money. Gonzalez, you're not going. Don't you want to play with me? I want to play with Teresita. Good night. What sort of a fellow was he? I wish I could have taken his morning chocolate to him. Oh, as good as that, eh? Well, what strikes you most about him? He seems to have given what they call in references, great satisfaction. You know, there's something wrong with nature to take a man like this from us. Well, if he'd lived, you possibly wouldn't have met him. I would have hoped, and that would have kept me going. And if he lived, and if you met him, I would have hesitated. But it would only have been acting. What are you looking for? I was just wondering whether I've ever seen a more beautiful figure. Have you? Yes. But only once. If you said you hadn't, I had an answer for you. Tell it to me. No, it's rude. But tell it to me. No, not with the lights on. <laughs> Don Juan would have liked you. What do you know about Don Juan? Oh, I knew him. Whom? Don Juan? No. What was he like? How did he look? Well, he, he wasn't uh, unlike me. like me. And if I kiss you, my kiss is like that one. Well? When he seized her hand, it was as though a stream of hot lava were running through her veins. And when he kissed her, she felt a trembling delight that swept away her senses. Well? Hot lava, no. I could kill you for being so attractive. Don't stop. Say more. Bring some wine up to my room. I can't. You bring some up to mine. When? In about half an hour. Go now. Good 
Good night, Captain Mariano. Good night, Dona. Oh, you look wonderful. Oh, thank you, Captain Mariano. Rosita, you can close up and go to bed. If you were mine, the rich man said, with a golden spoon you should be fed. And you go to sleep on a golden bed until the sun came up in the morning. The rich man said, then what have I that you could be attracted by? The modest maid gave no reply until the sun came up in the morning. Fine hair. And those two lovely stars, just a little frightened, gazing at me. <laughs> you, you baffle me. Once again, I'm just a helpless child. I could kill you for being so attractive. <laughs> Go on, Captain Mariano. You certainly know how to talk. <laughs> there is nothing that I wouldn't say or do for you. You mean it? Are some in gold like this too much? What? There's a lovely pair in the shop across the road, and they only cost five ducats. And the other girl in the cafe has some. You get the earrings in the morning. Rub harder. Good, Master. We'll have it off in no time. I'm so happy. Tell the cook I only want boiled fish and stewed fruit for lunch. Bravo, Master. Get out my best clothes. Bravo, Master. At five o'clock, we run ten miles. Bravo, Master. <laughs> it's too wonderful. Here. Yeah. Take those to Rosita. Yes, Master. Send Ricardo to dress me. <clears throat> Very good, Master. Hi, Rosita. With Captain Mariano's compliments. Oh! Did they cost five ducats? Six. Oh! My, oh, my. I've heard of men who wanted something for nothing, and others who bargained something for something. But a man that gives something for nothing. For nothing? That a poor girl should get something for nothing. Why, the end of the world must be near. Things packed immediately. This is a pleasant surprise indeed. Surprise? You didn't think I was going to spend the rest of my life in this miserable inn? I had 
adore this place. My God! Scoundrel! My God, stop, scoundrel! Here, 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 here! here, here, here. Uh, this is my servant, sir, and I'm most unhappy if he annoys you. You rascal! You clumsy lout! How often have I told you not to offend people? Get out of here! Yes, master. I'm so sorry, sir. Sir, I apologize. Oh, very kind indeed, sir. I hope you will forgive me. Most certainly, sir. Good day, sir. Are you ready? Go! What did she say? That you're marvelous, Master. Uh, what else? She sent you this. Does she know who I am? Oh, no. look, here. Oh, Castle Montoro, West Wing, second tower, room on the top floor. Bravo, <laughs> Master. Such a reward. A divine hair. And those two lovely stars, just a little frightened, gazing at me. <laughs> you, you baffle me. Once again, I'm just a frightened child. How divine. Won't you come and sit down? You look and speak just like my dear father did. He would have been just about your age now, but he would never have been able to climb up here. It's incredible at your age. My guardian keeps me here as a prisoner, and Thomas doesn't know where I am. Thomas? Yes, Thomas. He's in Seville. So will you please send a letter to him? I write to tell him to come because I love him. I'll never love anyone else in the world. So, so will you please send it to him? Or better still, take it to him. Oh, please. Please. I love him, and he loves me. All right. Oh, how can I thank you? Kiss me. Oh, no. Yes, like my father would kiss me. I shall love you till the last day of my life. And I shall remember you the last day of my life. Bye. If he can't come, tell him to send me a lock of his hair. Did you say a lock of his hair? Yes. Very well, then, a lock of his hair. Mariano, Captain Mariano, what have you 
been doing? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. What a shame to get such a cold. Dear, 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 men are like children. They need someone to look after them. Oh, your hat. Uh, get me something to drink. Hot. Yes, I know what you want. <coughs> You know, Captain Mariano, a man of your age ought to know that he needn't go out of the house to find something that he can get just as well in the house. I beg your pardon? You're a nice man. Now, why don't you settle down and be happy? <coughs> I'm all right. No, you're not. You look miserable, and you know it. Now, you ought to have a place of your own. Do you know how much I make out of this inn, and the farm, and the vineyard? Three hundred ducats a year. <coughs> and no relations to make our lives bitter. Our? Well, if you don't know what I'm driving at all this time, I don't want to marry you at all. Oh, but you do know very well. Now, what do you say? Signora! But why do you hesitate? You've no money, no looks, not very much brain, and you're no chicken. Well, neither am I. But you could help me in the business. You're a nice fellow. You make me a good husband. We ought to be very happy. But, Signora, it, it, it's impossible. Oh, men are so bashful. Why impossible? Signora, I'm a married man already. Oh. It needn't be exactly marriage. Oh, no, 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 Signora, it must be marriage. I, I, I'm a man of morals. You shot me. No, 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 Signora. I'm going mad! Leporello! Pedro! Pedro! Leporello! Pack up! Pack up! Pack up! I can't stand it any longer. We're going back to Seville. to come back. But there will be. Some of you young jackanapes sit up and take notice. And as for we women, 
We'll never forget him. The private life of Don Juan. A nice girl, that. She's right, too. The question is how and where to come back to life. It's got to be a sensation. Well, it's bound to be. I have it. The last girl that I kissed in Seville, that little fifth-rate dancer, she shall be the first girl that I kiss tonight. I'm going to Antonita. Yes, senor. Take the flowers away and let the duke in. Very good, senor. Do you like them? I adore them. Oh, no, it's Wednesday. The day Don Juan kissed me for the first time. No one must touch my lips on a Wednesday. Forgive me. Tomorrow? Maybe. The flowers for the grave. Take them to the grave. Send flowers to Don Juan's grave, you sweet and loyal little soul. <laughs> Your lovely forms, twin buds of passion's flower, do cause such burning fever in my veins, and so stir up my blood that I can scarce control me in settling arm. Stop, stop, stop. Well, what do you want now? Oh, listen, Senor Martin, you must not look out into space. Look at the ladies. <laughs> Why? Because you are Don Juan. You mean you want me to give the impression that Don Juan was able to make love to two women at the same time? Two, ten, twenty, thirty, fifty, a hundred. You have to radiate such hot virility that every woman's hand goes trembling in search of her husbands in the dark. You are Don Juan. Don Juan. Don Juan. Well, give me real women and I'll give you Don Juan. Send to the fish market for some women for him. And you, senorita, you are cold. Cold? Me? I'm not Don Juan cold. Yes. You're the first man who's ever said so. But you are cold. Why stand there in frigid dignity? Oh. And you too, senorita. He's got all the lines. Mm. What can we do? Act. Show what you feel, the surging blood in your veins, the frightened longing to approach this gigantic symbol in front of you, to touch him, to inhale his breath, to succumb to him, to Don Juan. How can I shiver with desire for a Don Juan who hasn't as much sex appeal as a broomstick? What? Me, Antonio Martinez? You, not a penny worth. <laughs> Inhale his breath indeed. Senor Martinez shouldn't eat garlic for breakfast. I'm fed up. If you want me to act, give me actresses, not kitchen maids. Ow! Oh! Look out! This is a rehearsal, not a peace conference. Go to your places. Begin the scene again. And do as the author tells you. Go. Your lovely forms, twin buds of passion's flower, do cause such burning fever in my veins, and so stir up my blood that I can scarce control me in circling arms. Bravo! Bravo, ladies! Bravo, Martinez! You see, that's Don Juan. Alfredo hadn't killed him, and we hadn't buried him. I might have thought you were Don Juan. <laughs> they didn't kill me, and they didn't bury me. 
It pleased me to disappear for a while, and now I've come back to you, my little Antonita. <laughs> you know, he, he really is rather like Don Juan. Oh, no. Don Juan is much taller and much younger. Yeah, six months younger. Oh, ten years younger. And, and he had blue eyes. And, and a noble presence. Clear-cut nose. Oh, and a different mouth. Ha! A different mouth. Will you try it? What are you doing? Oh, how dare you! <laughs> Not a bit like it. Don Juan's kiss. Get out of here. That's quite enough. Get out. This is outrageous. The real Don Juan would never have forced his attentions on a woman. Well, I won't either. I just want to teach your young man a lesson. Oh, how dare you! I love him! <laughs> Get out of here, you can't! Help! 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 humble servant, Don Juan, the real Don Juan. Leave the stage. Now come with me. Oh, yes. Don't you understand that I am Don Juan? Don't you believe me? Yes, yes, yes. Of course we believe you. But look here. Since Don Juan died... I keep telling you I did not die. Yeah, well, <laughs> since we buried you half a year ago, 23 men have tried to impersonate Don Juan. <laughs> I am the 24th. And you are disgusting. Oh, get out! Yes, oh, 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 oh. Nothing more to see. So good night. We want to see the end of the play. Get out. Get out. They want to see the end of the play. Who are you? I am the author of the play. Are you? Ladies and gentlemen, here is a man who has written the most insipid, the most senseless, the most slanderous play of our age. Why senseless? Why slanderous? The cause you lied about my life. You threw mud at my character. Yours? Mine, Don Juan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you care that much about Don Juan's real life and real character? No! You make me behave like a fool. You suppose that I ever made love to two women at the same time? You, no. But Don Juan, what do you think, ladies? Yes! He thinks it's impossible. He couldn't even manage one. 
you see. That's how much you know about being down one. And now get out. I'll teach you all. Get out of here. Get out. Bring down the curtain. <laughs> months ago, I was here for a few days. Twenty years ago, I lived here. Does nobody recognize me? No. No, no ladies? Nancy Strayer. She must recognize Don Juan. Estrella. I was Don Juan's first love. But I can't remember you. Well, how could you remember me? <laughs> among half the male population of Spain and South America. Sit down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's Don Alfredo who killed you. Oh, so you're the man. I've been just aching to meet you. Is he Don Juan? Is he Don Juan? Ridiculous. The whole world knows I killed Don Juan. You killed a poor boy because a terribly bored wife mistook him for Don Juan. How do you know? How, how could she? Because, my dear sir, there are wives that will see Don Juan in any other man. Alfredo, he insults my honor. Kill him. Yes, come on, kill me. Kill Don Juan. I killed Don Juan and nobody can take that from us. I owe it to his memory not to soil my sword, fighting a swindler who tries to impersonate a great man. Come on! Gentlemen, we can now settle this matter finally. We have the honor to have in our midst the one person who can do it, the widow of Don Juan, the real Don Juan. For years she has lived on her estate, for six months in Seville. She will now tell you whether this gentleman is Don Juan, yes or no. Now, Doña Dolores, will you kindly tell us who is this man? There is a likeness to Don Juan. But my poor husband was so much bigger and broader and far better looking. No, I've never seen this man before in my life. Someone who understands. But you see, I am Don Juan. Of course you are. I am Don Juan. He is Don Juan. Everybody's Don Juan in Seville when the bullfights are on and the wine is flowing. <laughs> Sleep well, Don Juan. <laughs> Oh, it is a lovely place. Will you take a message to Captain Mariano? Captain Mariano? Certainly, Donny Dolores. I should like to see it. Talk about poor Don Juan. He may come to be directly he's released from jail. Come on, Don Juan. Well, I hope it's taught you a lesson. You country folk have to learn manners in a town like Seville. Go away and behave yourself. Captain Mariano, I believe? Yes, Signora. You knew my poor husband, Captain Mariano? I did, Signora, very well. Well, I'm glad you did, because I never did. You never knew your husband? Hardly at all. Imagine, after a few months of love, he avoided me. I can tell you, Signore, he had absolute confidence in your loyalty. 
Well, he couldn't have been such a fool. A fool to have confidence in your loyalty? Certainly. He never knew very much about women, but he must have known that he couldn't offend and neglect a woman like me for years with impunity. You are right, Signora. In his heart, he was always fearful of losing you. Well, why didn't he come back to me then? <laughs> Men are very weak, Signora, very vain. During all his life, he was terribly afraid of intelligent women. Why? Well, they strip a man of his glory. And tame the conquering male until he becomes just a husband. Oh, I see. He was afraid he wouldn't be happy as my husband. Oh, no, 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 Signora. Latterly, his only wish was to disappear from the scene of his successes. Nameless and unknown to come and tell you Will you come to my estates? Don Juan is dead. I don't want to be anything but your husband. Dolores! Dolores! What do you mean by this? School for husbands, Don Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Don Juan is not dead. No, darling. What has he got to say to me? Oh, what a fool he was to forget all this. That divine hair. And those two lovely stars. Just a little frightened. Oh, no, no, darling. You told me all that six years ago. Tell me some of the wonderful things that made women dazed and intoxicated. Well, that was it. That's what I always told them. Well, then... Tell me something you never told any woman before. I love you, darling. I don't want to be anything but your husband. Oh. Won't you ever learn anything about women? Every woman wants something more than just a husband. Every woman wants done one. But all to herself. <laughs> 